During the biggest crisis the NHS has faced since its foundation, we're here today because the Red Cross has declared a humanitarian crisis in the NHS, because wait times have reached the worst in history, because hospital departments are shutting down up and down the, the country. We're here because patients are dying in corridors and because the NHS staff are overstretched, underpaid and they can't cope anymore. We're also here today because what is this government doing about all of this crisis? Nothing is the truth. They are doing nothing to address this crisis. In fact, in fact the truth is as this crisis gets worse, Jeremy Hunt just goes into hiding. Theresa May just lies her way through interviews and doesn't address the issue. And the government is actually planning on cutting a further 22 billion from the NHS budget. We're here to say that's not good enough, that's a disgrace. We're here today because the truth is the Tories are deliberately driving our NHS into the ground. They're deliberately breaking it up. They're deliberately creating this crisis so that they can privatise it, sell it off to their mates in the corporations and in the big business. What more evidence do you need than this than when Theresa May refuses to keep the NHS out of any trade deal with America and with Trump? We know that privatisation only means cutbacks, a drive down in wages, a reduction of the service to maximise profit and that is the Tories ideology and that's why it doesn't, it hasn't stopped at the NHS, the same thing is happening in our education system, transport, housing, all of our public services are facing the same disgraceful uh, outcomes. And they say that the state has no money to do these things but it's very very simple, you tax the corporations more not less. You clamp down on tax avoidance. You scrap Trident and stop waging wars. This is a very, very simple way that we can properly fund our health service and all the other things that people need. And now we have a choice. We either keep the Tories and lose, lose our NHS, or we keep the NHS and lose the Tories. And friends, today is just the start. It has to be just the start of a massive campaign. We can't just go home after today. We need to get involved with our local health campaigns. We need to get involved with our local people's assembly groups. And we are going to be organising a day of action, of direct action and all these kind of things on the NHS's birthday on the 5th of July. So look out for that. Thanks very much. I'll see you later.